Good morning, PHS. I'm PTV's Devin Grit, and today is Thursday, September 1st, 2016. And I'm Juan Garcia. We have once again a jam-packed show for you, and so you stick around, PHS. <laughs> school today adult education ESL classrooms are in 113 114 and 116 well it's that time of the show that you all have been waiting for it's trivia time Wrong. in order to answer the question and get the prize you have to wait until the very end of the show when, when you actually ask the question yeah, that's right. So teachers who have been allowing their students to fast forward straight to the question and call, stop that right now, please. We watch the show too, so we know if you actually watch the show or skip it. So just know, we work really hard on the show to try to make it fun for you guys. So the most you can do is actually watch the show through. We only take your calls when the question actually airs. If you start the show at 1040 when the bell rings for SRT like you're supposed to, you'll have time to answer it, so don't worry. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, we're on that subject. Teachers cannot answer the question either. Please allow your students to call in the answer. Getting back to the news, are you interested in, in attending Hanover College? If so, head down to WSY New College and Career Center in the Orange Room to talk about all the different programs they have to offer. Plus, Miss Flynn is a Hanover grad. She can tell you all about the college as well. The 50th Annual Blueberry Festival begins in hours. The fourth day event is held this weekend, which is Labor Day weekend. If you don't know, the PHS parking is once again Blueberry Festival's official parking spot. Parking proceeds raised will help fund field trips, incentives, family events, classroom decorations, library books and supplies, as well as other items. So if you're, and you and your family go, are going to the festival, please help support our public school programs by parking where your money benefits us. The parking cost per vehicle is $8 for the daily pass and 16 for the entire weekend pass, which allows all motorists to access to and from the lot all four days of the festival. Included the high school parking cost is a free tram ticket for all festival goers in your vehicle. Trams are handicapped accessible and shuttle fe uh, festival goers go back and forth from the heart of the Blueberry Festival and the high school. I'm Hasey Zay. I'm Hasey B. I'm Warren Garcia. I'm Devin Gritton. I'm Nicole with PTV Sports. Stay tuned for details. Today is a big day for PHS. Let's check out what's lined up on our PTV Sports rundown. And oh boy, it's a druzy. There's a lot going on. The boys' tennis team is going on the road at Warsaw, taking on the Tigers. The cross-country team is has a, a meet at John Glenn. The girls' soccer team is going against LaVille here at home, and the boys' soccer team is going away at Goshen. The freshman volleyball team has a game at Wawasee. We hope, the vo hope they volley the competition out of the water. Our girls' golf team has a match at Concord with, with Wawasee. Hopefully, they get them straight from the tee. And last but not least, the freshman PHS football team goes against Valparaiso on the road. Go up to all student athletes and the teams from the PTV crew. Last week, the Rockies traveled to Rochester to face off on the gridiron. 
The Rockies delivered a blowout to the Zebras team that suffered a few injuries during the game. After the first quarter, the Rockies led 34 to 0. At the halftime, Rockies raised the deficit to 59 to 0. The rest of the game, the JV squad was sent in. The game ended 59 to 6. The Rockies will hope to keep their momentum going against the Warsaw Tigers this Friday at 7 p.m. at the Rock Pile. Once again, this week, wanted to thank Jesus Baca for a terrific graphic. And that's a wrap of our PTV Sports News. Switching gears to last week's PTV Trivia Time question, for those who do not remember, it was, what's the longest river in the world? And the answer is, the Nile River. The classroom that called in the right answer first was Gene Skirvin's room. Photojournalist Juan Garcia and our PTV crew delivered the sweet prize, a bag of Krispy Kreme donuts. Congratulations to Mr. Skirvin and his class on winning the PTV Trivia Contest. Speaking of trivia, it's your favorite time of week again. Trivia time. We finally meant it. And it's an honor of football, college football, starting this Saturday the question is, what college did Patriots quarterback Tom Brady attend? Teachers, re remember that you can only win once a month. But now that we are starting off a new whole month, everyone is entitled to call. The extension you can reach is our PTV crew is 1241. Once again, the question is, what college did Tom Brady attend? If you know the answer, call now to the extension 1241. In case you didn't know, school will not be in session for students tomorrow or Monday. So in advance, we wish you and your family a relaxing upcoming Labor Day weekend. And real quick before we leave you this week, let's take a look at what we'll be having for lunch today. Chicken patty with corn and fruit and vegetable bar. Well, that's all we have for you guys today. I'm Devin Gritton. And I'm Juan Garcia. I'll see you next week.